close your eyes and look at a light. You know how it's kind of like red? That's kind of what I see, but it's more of like a cloud type of thing. I will not see my daughters grow up. That as a father, it, it's emotional. It, it really, it hurts. I wake up every morning wishing I could see, that I could watch my daughters walk down the aisle, graduate. I wish that, uh, you know, I, I could see my wife. It, it hurts knowing that I, I won't be able to see her, or I can't see her, but still at the same time knowing that, th that, that they're there and I can, I can still be there for them, that's the most important thing. To be honest with you, I, I didn't even think of bodybuilding until my friend Paul, he's a personal trainer, and he, I just started lifting with him and he's like, hey, you know what, since you, uh, really aren't doing anything since you can't see. How about we uh, take a whack at this? There's a competition this upcoming June. And I was like, oh really? And next thing I know, uh, <laughs> we're hitting the gym twice a day and I'm trying to get my gains on, as he puts it. Having my, my trainer with me, having Paul with me, I mean, he actually is quite helpful in the fact that, say I'm trying to work on my chest that day or something like that, he knows where I'm, I'm lacking in that area. He can, he can see it. I might not be able to, but he can. So he, he can critique and say, hey, this is what you need to do. And if it wasn't for him, I, I'd be lost. I actually don't know why I do it sometimes. Um, there was a while there, like after my first competition, I just felt like kind of discouraged, kind of like, well, hey, I did good, but I could have done better type of thing. And the fact that I couldn't really see what the other, other competitors looked like or see or even critique myself, basically. That's what a lot of bodybuilders do. They look at themselves in the gym, they look at themselves in the mirror, and they say, hey, you know, I'm looking good, or hey, I need to work at this spot, or this muscle is slacking. I can't do that, but I can feel it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know when I'm lifting that weight that it's growing in size, or hey, this is, this is the definition I'm getting. And then also, when it comes to the actual competition itself, I don't have to worry about looking at the other competitors and be like, I'm not looking like him or I'm not doing that. At the same time, I know what I got, I can feel what I got. It's more satisfying, actually, the way I look at it. There's an audience out there staring at these people. I can't see them. I mean, I might be able to hear them a little bit, but I mean, I have those judges tell me what to do and I'm focusing on them and I'm focusing on what I'm doing up there. Can you take the hits? Can you, can you, bounce back. That's always the great thing to think in your mind. Hey, can I do it? Yeah, I can do it. And that's how I think of me losing my eyesight. I can do it. And that's how I wake up every day. I can do it. <laughs>